Good morning and welcome to Beijing. It's day four of the 2022 Winter Olympics here and Team USA began it with high hopes in ice skating. Three-time world champion Nathan Chin taking the ice in the men's individual short program. Chin with a masterful performance, notching the highest score in short program history, 113.97. But for his skating teammate, Vincent Zhao, heartbreak. Zhao testing positive for COVID. With tears in his eyes, he announced on Instagram he'd have to withdraw from competition. The enormity of the situation, the just the pain of it all is uh, it's pretty insane. I've already lost count of the number of times I've cried today. Another USA medal, Ryan Cochran Siegel winning silver in the men's Super G. And also this morning, an update on Nina O'Brien, the skier taking a scary fall during the giant slalom just before finishing her second run. We're now learning she suffered a compound fracture to her left leg and she's headed back stateside for care. O'Brien writing on social media, I'm a little heartbroken, but also feeling so much love. For Team China, it was a big day in the women's big air competition. Eileen Gu, the skier slash fashion model, born in California and now competing for China, placing first. She's a fan favorite here in Beijing. But for Team USA, still a lot to look forward to, including women's bobsled favorite, Alana Myers Taylor. She tested positive for COVID when she arrived here. Now she's officially out of isolation and she'll be ready to compete for her first event, the Monobob, on the 13th. Alex Brashe, ABC News, Beijing.